So, yeah, um, there are there is a little bit confusion about what we have here on line two. Um, what we're doing is we're importing the namespace system.collections.generic. And the systems.collections.generic namespace was introduced, so time for a history lesson, everyone, was introduced in .NET 2.0. Before .NET 2.0, there was only system.collections. System.collections contained collections, obviously, because it's system.collections, but it contained collections that didn't enforce the type of the collection. They weren't capable of making sure that we have a collection of a particular type. That was a very poor decision on Microsoft's part, in my opinion, for introducing this language without that support in version one, but they did. And when version two rolled around, they created the system collections generic namespace, which contains things like lists. And lists are awesome because we can constrain what kind of type they contain. I can't tell you how many bugs were caused by the original collections that came out with .NET 1 because they didn't require that every type was the same. Um, Zed, you'd have to, if, if you're specifying the namespace on one list, you'll have to specify, or you should specify it on the other side, or add a using. So if I didn't have a using statement here, I would have to say, System dot collections dot generic dot list, and then over here I would have to say system dot collections dot generic dot list. That's really verbose, and I don't like doing that. So instead of doing that, I'm going to take those off, and I'm going to use a using statement. <laughs> 